Well, 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 Genshin has come out with some developer discussion here, some changes. And I'm not going to lie, I know a certain game that has uh, inspired these changes. And, you know, I'm just going to say, you know, it may be uh, about the waves. It may be about the weathering, the weathering waves, you know, potentially, potentially. Also some HSR stuff in here as well. But uh, these are changes that should have been in the game already. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to go over them with you, see what we got going on here, and try to keep it short. I just recorded this, and my mic was muted. So, yeah, that's kind of GG. Anyways, so first one here we're getting encounter points accumulated way faster and they're making bosses respawn faster which is huge they're making so encounter points every 30 resin you spend can be turned into a long-term encounter point and that is going to be able to give you like a daily like finish or something i don't know how many long terms it's going to take to finish a daily though like i'm assuming every 30 you get an encounter and you can just use that so spending all your resin in a day just completes your whole day of dailies this should be in the game. I don't know why we don't have that. Dude, I was not trolling. I was uh, I was talking about it. I was saying, Amelie looks sleeper. That, that, that was going to be a break patch for me, but I'll log in at least and get, like, you know, my gems. I think Amelie is bait. I think she's literally... I've heard she's... Uh, I've heard dreams that she's going to be on second half. So they're literally just baiting you to get Amelie because she's, like, a Dendro character, you know? And then they're going to go into Notlin with, like, you know, just new juicy Notlin characters. And you just wish for Amelie. You have no juice. Pull up the card, buddy. Pull up the card. And then we're also getting bosses respawn 10 seconds. This is pretty big. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty big. I don't know how it's taken this long for us to get a boss change, though. Like, let's be honest. Now, let's also change the amount of boss drops you get. Because why do I have to spend all of my day of resin to not even be able to fully level a character when they come out? When Arlequino came out, I'm not trolling. I think that was, like, one of the most angered times I had with Genshin. Because I couldn't build her even though I pre-farmed. I had to spend three hours farming before I could play Arlequino. Like, I don't even get how that's a system in a game where you can get a character and you can't even pay, you can't even play them because you have to spend so long farming for them. Anyways, um, Sparlabis, they're adding drag and drop, but this should be in the game already, but pretty good change, you know. They don't have a team selector though. I wish they had preset teams that you just put in here, you know. That would be, you know, revolutionary because um hsr is planning on doing that but they didn't add it yet so if genshin added it before you know we could say hsr could never but you know genshin would never do that <laughs> genshin would never do that and they're also adding like a filtering system for uh your characters which i guess is close to a team selector but they could just add a team selector and they didn't so yeah interesting uh interesting stuff they're also doing review and high dialogue features this is hsr and we will have this Pretty much you can um, listen to the dialogue without having text on screen. I think this is pretty nice, you know, doing story quests. is usually really good pictures. Story quests in Hoyo games and just in general in these gacha games, they have like really good like scenes and sometimes they're just a text on screen. You can't take a picture, man. Genshin has some, you know, you can't do that. And then there's also a hide UI. Um, I was surprised that you can't hide your UI in the game already. I thought you could do that, but... You know, if you want cinematic, immersive experience, it's probably for CCs, I'm not going to lie. If you're like your regular, you know, Billy Joe, probably not going to use that that much. But, um, you know, maybe some guy recording Genshin Impact full story walkthrough, you know, he can make like an immersive experience with no UI on it. Um, they have some like nerfs on these three pretty much. Uh, they're nerfing the anti-raiding Shogun training and License to Glide. How are they nerfing License to Glide? Like... That doesn't make, you know what they should do if they want to get people into the game? Genshin has like a one to two hour reroll for uh, like, if you wanted to like reroll a character or reroll for a gacha, it takes like one to two hours. ZZZ is like 10 to 15 minutes right now. I have ZZZ music playing in the background now because it goes hard, you know, free background music. Um, dude, they should make it so you can get to wishing faster. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I feel like that, like, I feel like, yo, they could get me on the Genshin dev team. I'd, I'd. I'd up the I'd up the sales by 100%. All I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, literally, I could up this I could up the sales in Genshin 100%, adding skins and like three quality of life, three quality of life. Hoyo, my contacts available, my contacts available. You know, Gib, Gib on YouTube. You know, hey, Gib on Twitch. Hey, let me know. Let, let me know. Let me know. Um, interesting enough there. They're also doing this thing. Uh, if you have skill issue, when you die, they're gonna let you know and they're gonna say, Yo, do you want to lower your world level? Uh, this is for Mario. It's just funny though. You know, if you're getting smacked, they're gonna let you know. Hey, bro, you're getting smacked. You, you might want to lower your world level potentially. And then lastly, they're nerfing the ley lines. Or they're nerfing old ley line and like domains, which is crazy because this should be a wake up call for players. I'm not gonna lie, when you get into this domain, they're completely removing flowing waters, which is insane. 
flowing waters i think it's cringe and annoying but like i feel like it teaches you about the game and like how to utilize your skills and stuff efficiently now they're just making it a damage bonus which is crazy i do i do like though that they removed the abyss mage the abyss mage is just cringe because he can perma freeze you because you have ice on you 24 7. it's like a no icd ice that is on you with this hydro abyss mage so it can just perma freeze you which is cringe so that's fine that it took, they took that out i'm not gonna lie they're also making uh, more resource efficiency for old quests and stuff so they're also doing some one red time dot prompt for travelers to be removed i'm assuming if you have a bunch of red dots in your screen and you haven't removed them when the patch comes out like you won't need to um like click on the characters to get the dots to go away that's what i'm assuming i don't know but uh yeah that is the changes let me know what you guys think they are good changes but they're like a, kind of like uh they should already be in the game in my opinion you know what i'm saying like i feel like these are stuff that just should be in the game but uh, it's good that they're added at least hopefully if this seems i'm hoping for notlin notlin is probably like one of my last straws for genshin i'm not trolling I, they, I want to see some crazy changes for Notlin. I've heard dreams that they're doing like a rework or something when Notlin comes out. I don't know. We'll see. A 4.8 live stream's coming out. Maybe there'll be like a little bit of um, sneak peek or something. I don't know. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just going over the um, new stuff that they added and all that. Hope you enjoy it. And make sure to sub. We almost had 24K. Goodbye.